Welcome to the Bible Quiz Channel. Get ready for 15 thought-provoking questions about the Old Testament. Subscribe and like to support us, then share your score in the comments. Click Join for exclusive content and to support our mission. Let's begin! Question 1. What did Solomon request from God for the people at the temple dedication? A. Riches B. Victory in war C. A discerning heart D. God's presence Time to think. The right answer is letter D. That thine eyes may be open toward this house night and day, even toward the place of which thou hast said, My name shall be there, that thou mayest hearken unto the prayer which thy servant shall make toward this place. First Book of Kings, Chapter 8, Verse 29 Question 2. How did God respond to Solomon's prayer at the dedication of the temple? A. Sent fire from heaven. B. Caused an earthquake. C. Filled the temple with a cloud. D. Spoke from heaven. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. First book of Kings, chapter 8, verse 10. And it came to pass, when the priests were come out of the holy place, that the cloud filled the house of the Lord. Question 3. Who opposed Moses and Aaron in Egypt, performing similar signs with their enchantments? A. Pharaoh's magicians. B. Egyptian soldiers. C. Other Hebrews. D. Canaanite spies. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. Book of Exodus, chapter 7, verse 11. Question 4. Where did Moses strike the rock to bring forth water for the Israelites? A. Horeb. B. Sinai. C. Kadesh. D. Meribah. Time to think. The right answer is letter D. Book of Numbers, chapter 20, verses 11 to 13. And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice, and the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their beasts also. This is the water of Meribah, because the children of Israel strove with the Lord, and he was sanctified in them. Question 5. Who was David's first son? A. Amnon. B. Absalom C. Adonijah D. Solomon Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Second book of Samuel, chapter 3, verse 2. And unto David were sons born in Hebron, and his firstborn was Amnon, of Ahinoam, the Jezreelites. 
Question 6. Who killed the brother of Goliath? A. David B. Abishai C. Elhanan D. Benaiah Time to think. The right answer is letter C. Second book of Samuel, chapter 21, verse 19. And there was again a battle in Gob with the Philistines, where Elhanan the son of Jarearegim, a Bethlehemite, slew the brother of Goliath the Gittite, the staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. Question 7. What was the sign God gave to Noah that he would never again destroy the earth with a flood? A. A rainbow. B. A dove. C. A star. D. An olive branch. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. Book of Genesis, chapter 9, verses 12 to 17. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant, which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. Question 8. Who was the king of Salem that blessed Abram? A. Nebuchadnezzar B. Melchizedek C. Solomon D. David Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Book of Genesis, chapter 14, verse 18. And Melchizedek king of Salem brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. Question 9. What was the first punishment for Adam after he ate the forbidden fruit? A. Banishment from the garden. B. Hard labor to grow food and eat. C. Loss of immortality. D. All of the above. Time to think. The right answer is letter B. Genesis. Chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Question 10. Which tree were Adam and Eve forbidden to eat from? A. Tree of life. B. Tree of knowledge of good and evil. C tree of wisdom D tree of eternity time to think
The right answer is letter B. Book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Question 11. What did Abraham do with Lot when their herdsmen quarreled over grazing land? A. Expelled Lot from his company. B. Chose the better land for himself. C. Suggested they part ways amicably, offering Lot the first choice of land. D. Went to war over the land. Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdmen and thy herdmen, for we be brethren. Is not the whole land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right, or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. Book of Genesis, chapter 13, verses 8 and 9. Question 12. Upon whose death did Abraham purchase a burial plot for himself and his family in Machpelah? A. Lot B. Isaac C. Sarah D. Nahor Time to think. The right answer is letter C. And after this, Abraham buried Sarah, his wife, in the cave of the field of Machpelah before Mamre, the same as Hebron in the land of Canaan. Book of Genesis, chapter 23, verse 19. Question 13. Who was responsible for providing provisions for Solomon's household for one month each year? A. 12 officers. B. The priests. C. The Levites. D. The people. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And Solomon had twelve officers over all Israel, which provided victuals for the king and his household, each man his month in a year made provision. First Book of Kings, Chapter 4, Verse 7 Question 14. What did Solomon do to ensure peace with Egypt? A. Married Pharaoh's daughter B. Sent gold to Pharaoh C. Built a city for Pharaoh. D. Made a trade agreement. Time to think. The right answer is letter A. And Solomon made affinity with Pharaoh king of Egypt and took Pharaoh's daughter and brought her into the city of David until he had made an end of building his own house and the house of the Lord and the wall of Jerusalem round about. First Book of Kings, chapter 3, verse 1. Question 15. What did Moses do when the Israelites made a golden calf? A. He praised them. B. He destroyed the calf. C. He left them. D. He joined them. Time to think.
The right answer is letter B. Book of Exodus, chapter 32, verse 20. And he took the calf which they had made, and burnt it in the fire, and ground it to powder, and strawed it upon the water, and made the children of Israel drink of it. Wow, that was an enlightening journey through the scriptures. How did you fare? Remember, whether you aced it or learned something new today, the Word of God is always full of wonders waiting to be explored. Now, if you enjoyed this quiz, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more quizzes and biblical insights. And most importantly, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment down below with your score, any questions you might have, or even suggestions for future quizzes. Together we can grow and deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you always be blessed on your spiritual journey. Until next time, stay inspired.